Welcome to this video on the new planner in Microsoft Teams. So they've made some changes recently and pulled all of our tasks together, which is just going to make it much easier so we can go to one place and we can see what's going on in our personal tasks, any to-do tasks that we've created, any tasks that have come from loop components, any tasks that have been assigned to us in any project plans, and any plans that also are created that we have access to as well. So we can see it all in one place. And Microsoft are doing quite a lot of this at the moment with meeting stuff and now tasks. If you can't see this right now, you will see it shortly. It's come onto my screen recently. I have been checking. But what I'm going to do is I need to find the new planner app on the left hand side. Now, if you don't have it pinned, I don't. Remember, you're going to go to the free dots because it's probably going to be there and you can see the planner and if your planner doesn't have that icon in then you probably got the wrong you probably got the old planner still now it might take a while to come out depending on when i publish this video you might not have access to it but do keep an eye on it when i click that planner it's going to come up and show my plans my tasks all of that lot now the actual the the menu on the left hand side is hidden you'll see an icon in the top corner which is going to open that menu now you can leave it closed if you're not interested in toggling between the different areas but just to explain what's in front of you before i do you're looking at my tasks so this is everything that i have assigned to me whether i've created it or whether someone's sent it for me and there's a couple of different sections that you have you have private tasks that's a task that I created in my to do list, my to do app. Sorry, not my to do list, that's a different brand. Um, my to do app, I can see prep for that there. It's available to me. I can also see some I've assigned to me or someone else has assigned to me in a plan. And I can also see flagged emails as well, which I don't have any, but they're a task as well that you want to go back to. So actually, they're all in the same place, which is super, super useful. And please just notice on the right hand side, you've got some filters as well. So you can see all active and completed and you've got your filter options. So you can really drill down, which is quite useful. The first one that I was already on is all so you can see everything in one place that either is your personal or has been assigned to you and in each of these options you've got the task option i'm going to go into private tasks and i'm just going to create myself a quick task to record a video you can see i've got priorities medium i've got due date if i want to pick that i'm just going to click on the tick to create that task because I just want to show you what that looks like. Now I've got that record a video task. I've got the three dots on the right hand side. So let's go and have a look what options we have available to us. So I can add it to my day. So you're going to see in a few minutes, there's a few other options on the left hand side where you can see what work you're doing during that day. So you can be super productive. You can go in and change the progress of your task. Change the priority. You've got a due date where, again, because I didn't put a due date in, you can select a due date. I can even move the task. So if I click move task, I've got options to move it to. I don't have any of your planners by the look of it, so I can just move it to private tasks. But if I had other plans and stuff like that, I could move it there. So let's just click on private tasks and move task. I think it was already in there. Um and just go back to those three dots and i've also got the delete option as well obviously wherever you see tasks on the left hand side you've got a radio button or a circle doesn't matter where you tick it as completed it will all sync up really nicely so you can keep a track of what is going on so you can see my private tasks are there i've got assigned to me like i said flagged email and all but i'm going to open the left hand side now to show you what's going on over there because that's quite interesting and if you've got the new planner, you'll see it looks a lot like this. You can see the new planner icon. And then if you look at the menu, you've got three options. I've already mentioned one of them when it was at, it asked me about moving to my day. So I'll come back to that in a moment. But we're looking in my tasks. And this is where, like I said, everything gets pulled into one area so you can see it. But you've also got my plans. So if you look at plans, I do actually have some plans here available that I maybe have 
that have been shared with me or how I've created and tasks, anything that's assigned on those plans, any tasks that are assigned to me will come into my tasks. So even though this is really to help me with my productivity, I can still see every task that's relevant to my my role, my, what I'm working on, what my team are working on, things like that, by looking at the planners. And if I just have a look at these, if I just close that down, you'll see I've got a few more icons there. I can see it's been shared with people. I can see when it was last accessed, which is quite a while ago. You can see the privacy. And if I just go into freelancer tasks, you can see I've got a pin option to pin the plan. So let's open the left-hand side again. And you can just see a pinned option there. So let's just pin that freelancer tasks. And if I've got a planner that's really, really important right now, just like you can do with Teams and chats and stuff, you can pin the relevant planners so you don't have to go and search for them. They'll always be there on the left-hand side for you to access and review and things like that. And just like before, you've got the option with the free dots to do all of those changes that you might need to do we can unpin the plan there i can hide it i can rename it i can open it and go and have a look at that detail so th this is just remember it's a quick view when you click into anything it will look exactly like you would expect it to you can even click into your flagged emails and go into your email and action it at that point which is really really useful you can also see in the top right hand corner and the bottom left hand corner you've got the new plan option so you can create your new planners plans from here so you've got all of that really really nice functionality and the final thing i just want to show you is my day so this is where and i've got nothing assigned to today's date this is why the due date is really important on your tasks especially if you want to do something that day so let's do that task that i created that record a video and let's just three dots and add to my day. So I'm giving it today's day. And now you can see I've got the little icon there. The little like it looks a little bit like a sun or a circle with dots around it. And that's the same icon that's there on the left hand side. And if I go, you can now see I've got that in there. So I know this has come from private tasks, another source, another priority, all that great. So I can see what's going on. But if I go into assign to me and just have a look at what's going on here, if I change these, change one of these, three dots again, due date. Let's go to today at the bottom. That will really help you. And click on today's date and save that. So that's now. Because I've changed it to today's date rather than going to put it in my day. You can now see it's actually automatically put it in my day because obviously it knows what date it is. So when I go back to my day, it's a bit, but I've now got the two tasks in there. So either you already add it to my day or just because the due date is today's day, it will be in your. So you can see all the tasks, all the things you've got to do, whether you've got flagged emails, whether you've got private tasks, whether you've got tasks that have been assigned to you in plans. You can see everything that's going on with your day in my day as long as you're using the planner app the way that it should be used and i'm going to really dive into this and get using this because i find it quite it looks really really useful i think my team will find it quite useful as well so really have a play around with that have a go look at where all your tasks are coming from nothing has changed with any of the other com loop components plans to do's you can go in and find all of those in the usual place. This is just a way of pulling it all together, which is really useful and is going to help a lot with productivity. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.